Happy Pokemon Day, everyone, and welcome to Scaling Mount Moon. I had to do something for the day. It turns out it's going to be this because I have this old save file ROM of Pokemon Blue, and it's just this. The old save file is um the one I used last year, and it's still got the same thing, Melon, on it. So we're going to scale the mount mountain with melon. And be prepared to see a lot of Zubat. Oh, well, that's the first. There's not a Zubat here. So, Water Gun. Let's take out him. <clears throat> I've just been overtraining this because it's... It can power through the whole game if you have a level 70. What do you call it? But I might get the legendaries later on. I don't know what I'm going to do with the game. It's a bit annoying, the first generation games, they're kind of the harder ones. So let's keep going. And I need to go down, don't I? Here's a Geodude. Water Gun. This is on times one speed, so it's not the speed it would normally be. Oh! We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. Right, seems we come up against our first Team Rocket battle. Sandshrew. Level 11. Sandshrew looks nothing like it does today. All of the, the like, designs have changed so much. There we go, Sandshrew's down. Let's get rid of him. Melon grew to level 18. Rattata, Water Gun, that will be good. Quick Attack, that's not going to do much. Water Gun, let's take him out. Okay, that didn't do much, but let's keep going. Water Gun. There we go. Now, hopefully this is the correct location for the... For the, um, where I'm supposed to be going... Because if it's not, then that's going to be pretty annoying. It failed. Luckily, confusion in this game is horrible. Let's keep going. Defeated Rocket. I blew it. Haha, <laughs> because he's a rocket. Haha, <laughs> get it? No. Okay, I'll stop. Fast forward again, because it's just a load of Zubat. <clears throat> Run away. HP up. Nice. Right, so you defeated the first team, Rocket Grunt. Let's keep heading towards our location. <laughs> Which is somewhere in this cave. Zubat again. They're not as annoying up that because I'm on fast forward. I have to say the team Magma hideout was definitely worse than this. I mean, the amount of Geodudes in that place. Gonna go up here. That's quite annoying. But since I'm on fast forward, I don't really mind. Let's keep going up here, around. And there's a Geodude. I'll take that Geodude out. I might consider catching one. I don't know. I don't think I will. Geodude. Now it's not down, is it? It's up. I have to go up and along. Avoiding those trainers, because they are horribly annoying. It's a gym leader that's one, isn't there? Um, I can't tell. In this game, the gym leaders are just normal trainer sprites. Right. Am I in the correct location now? Um, that's another Team Rocket grunt. TM01. I can't remember what that is. I'm not going to fight this guy. Actually, I might... Yeah, I should, probably. <clears throat> We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Team Rocket wants to fight, that's right. You're not going to beat me Me and my Melon. I call him Melon because he's just a Pokemon, and Watermelon is a water Pokemon, and this is a water Pokemon. So, yeah. <coughs> Leech Life, one of the most broken things to exist in Sun and Moon. I'm only joking, it's not broken, it's a terrible move. Melon, okay. 
Ekans Snake. I'm gonna call Ekans Snake. There's gonna be a lot of them. Leo. One thing that's annoying is its rap move. I remember in this game it stops you from attacking. There are a lot of things in this game that that were completely just absurd. Right, defeated that team rocket guy. An ether. That was in Fire Red, wasn't it? That must have been why I knew it was there. Right, fast forward again. I have to say, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool place for a, like, first dungeon type thing. Up the top corner, Moonstone. That could be useful. Might consider catching a Nidoran now. To get Nida King or Nida Queen. Oh no. Run away. I think we're actually in the progression bit now. Alright, I'm gonna screenshot that for the thumbnail. Oh, okay. That just told me that was a screenshot. Fair enough. Right. Team Rocket Grunt. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Yeah, we should. But I'm not going to because I'm a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon trainers can do whatever they want. Ah, that's Eraticate. That's not good at all. Let's actually quickly take that out, but that's going to be stopped very quickly. I don't have any healing items. Tackle. Water gun. Um, item. Oh no, I do. I have 11 potions. How lucky. Tackle. Fight, water gun. Hyper fight, no! And this is why we always use save files. To keep ourselves in the same location we were when we were in trouble, so we can do it a different way next time. Quick attack. His speed shouldn't be higher than mine. Tail whip. Right! That's that grunt done. That's that rocket. Might do the team rocket base next year. I'll just do this game in bits each year. I did like the first part of the game, the first full part of the game. Right, item, potion. Let's, let's heal him up. Covered by 20. Heal him up again. We've got a pretty hard battle coming up. And I think you may remember that if you watched my Fire Red one. Yeah, I think I did Mount Moon in that. Yeah, you have to do Mount Moon it. <laughs> Silly me. Um, there's a pretty hard battle at the end of this. Pokemon Yellow, it's even worse. So, we should count ourselves lucky that we're not playing Pokemon Yellow right now. Although it would have been an actual boss fight, so that would have been cooler, but unfortunately I chose blue, because blue is the game that I overleveled my blast toys on. See the same direction that I'm going here? If you don't, then, uh, think harder. <laughs> right, Zubat appeared, go Melon, Melon is a match made in heaven, heaven for defeating these. I think this is the boss rocket. We'll find the fossils and... Okay, I think this is the boss rocket. So this is the rocket battle. This one has two. Yeah, I think this one's the boss rocket. He's got level 13 Rattata. Right, let's take out the boss guy. Water gun. Rattata is almost dead quick attack once again trying to take down melon but that's not going to do anything because water guns powerful for our beautiful pokemon here right um gonna go water gun on him no okay fair enough let's go and 
and defeat the guy. Okay. Come on. Down. I think he was the boss rocket. I'm not sure if he was, though. Uh, now I'm mad. You made me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. Okay. I don't care. Uh, okay. Th something good is that the Team Rocket sprites are almost the same in, um... Uh, what do you call it? In the other game. That guy's not a rocket, I don't think. Yeah, that guy's the scientist, the crazy one. Right, this one's a hard battle. Let's quickly save the game up. <clears throat> it's now saving. Save the game. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Right, this is the boss battle. The super nerd. I hate this fight. Oh no. It's this one. I hated this one in Fire Red. And when I first ever played through Blue. For that. That was so lucky it did it disable tackle. Now that that's out the way. I think we'll be doing quite well. Level 20. Very good. Right, Voltor. That's an odd coloured Voltorb. Water gun, last water gun. Tackle. Bubble. Screech. Let's do it. Bubble. Take him out. The PP on water guns run out, by the way, if you didn't notice. So, there we go. Coughing. That's an odd looking coughing. I mean, it would have been cool, but I think the other one is still the class. That's not good. If we keep on letting him use that, we'll end up poisoned. Tackle. Right, I think we're good. <clears throat> Abilities weren't in this game, were they? Nah, abilities weren't in this game. Let's defeat the super nerd. Okay, I'll share. What one's this? I like Kabutops better, but then there's Lord Helix. I don't like the Lord Helix thing, so I'm going to choose the Dome Fossil, like I always do. Alright, then this is mine. Good for you. Right, let's heal up him in case there are actually any more rockets. I don't think there are any more rockets in Mount Moon, though, so let's keep on going. Yeah, usually here in um, Pokemon Yellow, you'd fight, like, Jesse and James from the anime. Alright, there's an encounter. How lucky? The Geodude. The Geodude has, it is squint eyes, so... Let's go. Run from that battle. There we go. And that's lucky. We are now on the route. Mount Moon to Cerulean City. Anyway, happy Pokemon Day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one of Pokemon Emerald, because that's the game I'm doing right now. I'll do another part of this next year, don't worry. I'll probably do it at the release of the Switch game as well, because I don't have a Switch. And I don't want one either, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in next time.